You said that if the president yeah. of the United States had launched an attack on Iran without congressional approval, that would have been an impeachable offense. Do you want to review Absolutely. that comment you made? Well, how do you stand on that now? Yes, do you think I do. I want to stand by that comment I made. The reason I made the comment was as a warning. The reason I made, I don't say those things lightly, Chris. You've known me for a long time. I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee for 17 years or its ranking member. The president has no constitutional authority to take this nation to war against a country of 70 million people unless we're attacked or unless there is proof that we are about to be attacked. And if he does, if he does, I would move to impeach him. The you think he feels that way now, Larry? Uh, he doesn't even remember he said that. I mean, the, hypo the hypocrisy is staggering. And, and, and look, you know, there's another principle at work here. So we're laying out that because Iran supplied weapons or drones to these third-party groups, and those third-party groups used that, what Iran supplied, we can attack Iran. And if, and if I'm Vladimir Putin and Sergei Shogu, the minister of defense in Russia, I'm going, you know, damn, that's a good idea. You know what? Uh, let's, let's go attack the United States because the United States is supplying Ukraine with the weapons that are killing Russians. Same principle applies. And we do, this is why people are so sick of the United States and its hypocrisy with this rules-based international order garbage. We play only by one set of rules. Does it benefit us?